Thank you for visiting Annie Electronics. The characteristics of switching diodes were covered in our previous video. We will learn about the diode junction capacitance in this episode. In electrical terms, a capacitor is a device that can store electrical charges in the form of an electric field. There are two parallel metal plates in a capacitor, separated by a dielectric or non-conductive material. The dielectric material does not conduct electricity. Parallel metal plates are electrically neutral in the beginning, which means that they contain equal and opposite charges. Voltage across the capacitor will result in a flow of charge carriers due to potential differences. In this situation, electrons from the bottom plate will be attracted towards the positive terminal of the source, and the electrons will be pushed toward the upper side of the plate. Eventually, the bottom plate will have a shortage of electrons, while the upper plate will have excess electrons. When we examine closely, we will see potential differences between the two plates. As the charge accumulates, it will reach equilibrium when the potential difference developed between two parallel plates is equal to the voltage applied to the source. We can see an electric field develop across the dielectric medium due to the accumulation of charges. As soon as we connect the load to the capacitor, the capacitor will discharge its stored charge. If we plot the charge and discharge curve of the capacitor, it will look like this. Capacitance refers to a material's ability to store electric charges. The capacitance of a capacitor is directly proportional to the size of its electrodes and inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. As a recap, we should consider the function of a capacitor and recall the reverse bias characteristics of a PN junction diode from episode 5. With increasing source voltage, the depletion region or barrier potential will increase, and no charge carrier will be able to pass through it. In reverse bias, the barrier potential has a high resistance and acts like a dielectric medium. Within the depletion region, immovable newly developed ions form dipoles, and we know that a dipole is associated with an electric field or electric force. Thus, it can be concluded that the charges are stored in the depletion region in the form of electric fields. According to our learning, the minority charge carriers pass through the N and P regions and are the cause of reverse saturation current. As a result, the N and P regions act as parallel metal plates or conductors. Therefore, we can conclude that the depletion region contains a capacitance. As the source voltage increases, the width of the depletion region increases as the majority carrier holes, on the P side and the minority carrier electrons, on the N side move away from the junction. With a reverse biased PN junction diode, the width of the depletion region is wide and the charge stored between the P and N regions is minimal. Due to this, the capacitance of the PN junction diode decreases with increasing reverse bias voltage. In episode 5, we learned that while the PN junction diode in forward bias, the width of the depletion region shrinks with an increase in forward bias voltage. Majority charge carriers electron from the N side are depleted and enter the P region when forward bias voltages increase. In the N region, electrons leave behind a hole and after entering into the N region, the same electron becomes a minority carrier. As a large number of charge carriers try to move to another region, they will be gathered near the depletion region before they recombine with the majority carriers. This results in a large amount of charge accumulating on both sides of the depletion region. A very narrow depletion region separates these charge carriers. As we have seen, the depletion region of a capacitor acts as the dielectric medium, and the charge stored on both sides of the depletion region acts as the conductor plates. Capacitance of this type is called diffusion capacitance. Diffusion capacitance, in a nutshell, is a capacitance generated due to the movement of charge carriers from anode to cathode in a forward biased mode. The diffusion capacitance is directly proportional to the applied electric, current or forward bias voltage. The diffusion capacitance is inversely proportional to the depletion region's width. The diffusion capacitance can be defined as See diffusion equal to to dq dv, it is the change in the number of minority carriers outside the depletion region per change in voltage applied across the diode. 
while we can observe another capacitance in forward bias mode, namely transition capacitance. A change in capacitance as a voltage increases is known as transition capacitance, depletion region capacitance, or barrier capacitance. In the forward bias mode, the transition capacitance is ignored since it is very small relative to diffusion capacitance. Capacitance changes at the depletion region can be defined as C transition equal to dQ dV, which is change in electric charge per change in voltage. As a function of area and width of the capacitor, the transition capacitance can be defined as C transition equal to epsilon multiplied by area of the P or N region divided by the width of the depletion region. In our upcoming video we will discuss about diode resistance. Till then happy learning!